Hey, pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports News. I'm DeBorg, and this is going to be a quick video on the Boston Red Sox adding two good, solid left-handed pitchers out of the pen in Matt Strom and Jake Diekman. Per reports, after they added a minor league lefty that might have some promise from the Blue Jays organization in Thomas Pannone the other day. But first and foremost, before we get into it, please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the Easy D's widget to keep us growing to 215 by the end of March. But let's get right into it. When it comes to Matt Strom, in 2020, he started looking a lot sharper, moving from a starting role to a primary relief pitcher role. Then last year, was not sharp, but then got banged up and was out for the rest of the season, only pitched a handful of games. So you can't really use last year as any standing point for him. He's a guy that's going to mix in his slider a good bit with his fastball. Those are his two primary pitches. His slider's about 88 to 90 at most. His fastball is about 93 miles per hour. And a guy that is um, also going to mix in uh, his curveball every now and again and then sometimes has a changeup with his sinker. So he has a repertoire that reminds you of a starting pitcher because he just came from being a starting pitcher a couple years ago to being then exclusively a reliever, I think it was in 2020, and then became injured last year, so you can't go off of that. He's a good pickup for Boston. They were able to slot him in uh, for a good one-year deal at $3 million bucks. where for Jake Diekman, he's, I've read different articles about it. I haven't been able to see. It's not on the transaction report yet at the um, value that he's come in at. But obviously, throughout Jake Diekman's career, he's had one of the nastiest sliders ever since his Phillies days. Now, then his last team was with a former Philadelphia team, the Oakland Athletics. So he's always been one of the, if he can control the strike zone, nastiest guys because his slider is just going to dip out of the zone and completely fool you. And then when he mixes in a sinker with it that can go away from right-handers as well, that really start that really helps him. Plus, obviously, his four-seamer that he can blow past people. So having Jake Diekman, having Matt Strom, who's more of that control artist, lefty out of the pen, and then having Jake Diekman, who's a guy that's just going to get the great strikeout and be able to just bury guys with that slider. It's kind of a perfect match made in heaven of the two lefties. You sign the two completely different guys, and they both kind of fit very well together to make the, the lefty set in the bullpen that you're trying to form in the Red Sox bullpen. And then last... Um, when it comes to lefties, they did grab somebody that looked years ago to have maybe some success as a fifth starter in the Blue Jays system, never panned out for him as a whole, except for maybe one season in Thomas Pannone, who again is a location artist guy first that mostly uses a four-seamer and a curveball, but maybe he can be somebody like Strom, where nobody saw him breaking out like he did out of the bullpen two years ago. Maybe the Red Sox can find a diamond in the rough on their hands because relief pitching so up and down. It's the most up and down thing in all of sports, honestly, I think, where you just kind of get the guys that you like their stuff and their pedigree and then try to make them into what you want. Where Pannone had shown success at the beginning of his career but hasn't shown it since at the big league level, maybe they can kind of get their Matthew Strom out of him while also picking up Matthew Strom, who the Padres got going. Now the Red Sox just need to hope coming off of an injury, but for $3 million bucks, it's a small risk anyway to a big market team that he's able to get it going. This has been a quick video on my AL team. I've always been a fan of the Red Sox for pretty much my whole life just because my dad went on business trips there, brought me stuff back, but they've always been my AL team that I love following. Um, where my NL team, you can tell who it is from the background, but um, they've always been a great team to follow and a great historic history. I think Jake Diekman's a great... Um, relief pitcher, one of the better lefty relief pitchers in the game, and then Matt Strom, he's a guy that has all the potential in the world to be a very good relief pitcher because he broke out two years ago, got injured last year, can't go off of that, and then maybe Pannone is a shot in the dark, it's not likely, but again, relief pitching so roller coaster -y. maybe he can be the Red Sox Matt Strom that they're pitching coaches and their pitching style that the way that they kind of coach him up just really clicks with him just like it seemed to do with Strom when he was out there in San Diego and they got him going as a reliever but we'll have to see that's a waiting game but everybody have a great and safe pleasant day please continue to subscribe down below or up above on the easy to use widget to keep us growing to 215 by the end of March and beyond peace out and stay safe